The HTC One M9 and the Galaxy S6 are both strong flagships. They both have their good sides and bad sides. The question is, who's better? Hey there guys, I'm Ray Fulstein in Worry Tech, and today I'm gonna give you a review about the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the HTC One M9, and we'll see who's better. Now I want to start talking about their design. Now the Galaxy S6 has a front and back made of glass. This is Gorilla Glass 4 and it has an aluminum sight. Now it's a completely new design compared to every Galaxy device that had a plastic back. Now that's mean that you don't have a removable back and you can't add more storage to the device. Now the Galaxy S6 is not waterproof like the Galaxy S5 so don't try to put your device in the water because it will not survive. Now the Galaxy S6 is very thin, it is just 6.8mm thin and it weights only 138 grams. So it's very thin and it's very light, you will enjoy to hold it. Now in the other side we have the HTC One M9 with different design uh, of aluminum unibody in the back with the plastic lines for the antenna. It is more rounded compared to the Galaxy S6 that is more flat. In the front it has aluminum lines and glass. Now in the HTC One M9 you don't have a removable back, you don't have the option to add more memory and it is not waterproof. Now it is very thick, it is 9.6mm thin and it weights 160 grams. Now they both looking great and beautiful. The Galaxy S6 uh, have a glass design that can be break while the HTC One M9 has more stronger alumi aluminum design but the HTC One M9 is very heavy and thick compared to the Galaxy S6. In the end, I will give them both in design the score 8. Now let's talk about the display. Now in the HTC One M9 we have a 5 inch full HD display. So it's 1920 by 1080 given at 441 pixels per inch. In the Galaxy S6 we have a 5.1 inch quad HD display. So this is 2560 by 1440, giving it extremely huge 577 pixels per inch. Now on paper, the Galaxy S6 display is better and that is true, it is actually also the sharpest display on the market, but I think that from normal distance of using your phone, you won't see a lot of difference in the display, only if you will look really really close in the display. Now also the display technology here is very different. In the HTC One M9 we have LCD IPS display and in the Galaxy S6 we have the Super AMOLED display which giving more alive and more vibrant colors. Now uh, when you look at the images you can see that the colors looking great on the Galaxy S6. I think that the display is looking better because the combination between the, the Quad HD display with amazing sharpness and the Super AMOLED technology which give more vibrant colors to the display. So in display I will give the HTC One M9 the score 9 and to the Galaxy S6 I will give the score 10. So Galaxy S6 is the winner here. Now let's talk about the chip. In the HTC One M9 you've got the Snapdragon A10. It's 64 bit chip built on 20 nanometer technology and is octa-core processor so you can expect for high performance here. In the Galaxy S6 you've got the Samsung Exeon 7420 which on paper looks a little bit more faster. It is actually 64-bit chip also. It is octa-core processor also but it's built on extremely small 40 nanometer technology. So check in Geekbench and you can see it is faster than the A10 in single core and in multi core. So I think this is the most powerful chip in the market right now but it's not really affecting by a lot on the OS and speed. Now that Samsung has improved TouchWiz it is really fast like HTC Sense so they really fast but in gaming and high working it is heat less than the HTC One M9 that can get extremely heat. So in cheap I will give the HTC One M9 8 and to the Galaxy S6 I will give 10 so the Galaxy S6 is the winner. Now let's talk about the OS and UI. 
Now in the HTC One M9, we have the HTC Sense working with Android Lollipop and I can say that it is working really fast uh, when I open a window or an app and it is not lagging or something. No, it is working really fast. Now we have the cool features of HTC Sense uh, with a blank feed and the themes we can change. It is really nice and I love the design of HTC Sense. In the Galaxy S6, we have a TouchWiz by Samsung, running with Android Lollipop also. Now, TouchWiz working really fast compar compared to previous versions, it is also not lagging anymore and it is working really fast and Samsung really changed the design to something more simple and comfortable to the eye. I personally not really connected connecting to the design here. I like more the design of, on the HTC Sense but that is my opinion. You also uh, got nice features here, you also can change your themes um, and the experience in touch with is better now. Now in the end, both Galaxy S6 and HTC One M9 has fast and nice OS and UI, but I like more the UI of HTC Sense, so I will give the Galaxy S6 the score 9 and to the HTC One M9 I will give the score 10, so HTC One M9 is the winner. Now, in battery life, the Galaxy S6 has a 2550 mAh battery size, while the HTC One M9 has a 2840 mAh, so you can expect for a better battery life in the HTC One M9, although the Galaxy S6 has also not so bad battery life. Now let's talk about the camera. In the Galaxy S6, we have a 16 megapixel sensor that were also in the Galaxy S5, but now the aperture is f1.9, so it lets more light in the image and more details. And I gotta say that the images here is looking great and sharp, and it is also have optical image stabilization, so the images are looking more precise, and it's one of the best cameras in the market right now. Now in the other side we have the HTC One M9 with a 20 megapixel camera and f2.2 aperture. Now last year it was a 4 megapixel with ultra pixel technology. So now the camera in the HTC One M9 is just 20 megapixel without any ultra pixel technology. Now on paper it looks better than the Galaxy S6 camera with 20 megapixel, but unfortunately it is not better. The images in the HTC One M9 is sometimes getting with too much light, not real precise colors. Sometimes the sky will look too white instead of blue. And in the Galaxy S6 camera, the colors are more precise and more sharp. Sharp. And in the HTC One M9, you also don't have optical image stabilization. So I will show you some photos took with the Galaxy S6 camera and the HTC One M9 camera, and you will choose who's better. Now in the Galaxy S6 we have a 5 megapixel front camera with f1.9 aperture, taking great photos and some nice long images. In the HTC One M9 we now have the 4 megapixel ultra with ultra pixel technology. Uh, it moved to the front camera. Now I think that images are looking better with the Galaxy S6 camera, so I'm gonna show you a photo that I really like with the front camera. Damn. Who is that handsome dude? But seriously, you can see that colors are better on the Galaxy S6 uh, and I think that HTC need to work on the uh, ultra pixel technology here. Now in the Galaxy S6 and HTC One M9 we have a 4K video recording and in the front camera we have 1080p video recording in the HTC One M9 and in the Galaxy S6 we have a 2K video recording, like 1440p. So I'm going to show you some videos took with the HTC One M9 and Galaxy S6.
So in this review, the Galaxy S6 is the winner, because it is an amazing phone, it has a beautiful display, strong processor and a great camera. And you also get the cool features that you don't have in the HTC One M9, like a fingerprint sensor and a heart rate sensor. But the M9 is also a great phone. So that was my review, if you liked it click the like button and if you want to watch more of these videos then click on the subscribe button. I was Ray Philstein in Ray Tech and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.